Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw the nine point center circle of any given triangle. The nine point center N is the center of the nine point circle of any given triangle ABC, which passes through the following nine points associated with the triangle. The first three points, X, Y, and Z, are the midpoints of the three sides of the triangle. The second three points, U, V, and W, are the perpendicular feet or bases of the three perpendicular heights of the different vertices A, B, and C. And the remaining three points, or S and T, are the midpoints of the different line segments which the orthocenter H forms with the three vertices A, B, and C. The nine point center N is on Euler's line in the midpoint of the distance between the orthocenter H and the circumcenter O which we will show you later in the drawing. We actually only need three out of these nine points to find out the nine point center. The three points we are going to find out are the three midpoints of the sides of the given triangle, which are X, Y, and Z. Okay, we start off, we have a triangle, A, B, C, and we can be seen, as can be seen here on the screen. And the first thing we are going to do is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the three sides. So to do this, setting our compass on point B and with the radius slightly larger than half the line segment AB, we scribe a line to the left and to the right. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on point B, we scribe two new arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And now we will draw a line through these intersections and it will cut the line segment AB at a midpoint, which we will call midpoint X. So now we're going to do this process with the other two sides. So setting our compass on the point C and with a radius slightly larger than half the length AC, Or BC, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on point B, our vertex B, we scribe another two arcs, cutting our previously drawn arcs. As can be seen here. And now joining these two intersections with a line, we will cut the line segment BC at the midpoint. Which we will call midpoint Y. And now finally, we'll work out the perpendicular bisector of the last side AC. So again, setting the compass slightly longer than half the length of AC, we scribe an arc above and below. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on point C, we scribe two new arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And now joining these two intersections with a line, we find our third midpoint, Z. And where these three midpoint lines intersect is O, which is the circumcenter of the triangle A, B, and C. So the next thing, setting our compass on O, we draw a circle the circumcenter, which inscribes the triangle. Okay, so the next step, we join points X, Y, and Z with a red line forming a new triangle, as can be seen here. And the nine point center N of the given triangle ABC is the circumcenter of the red triangle X, Y, and Z. 
So to work out this point N, we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of two sides of this red triangle. So starting off, we're going to work out the perpendicular bisector of XY by setting our compass slightly longer than the length of than half the length of XY. We scribe an arc above and below the line. And with the same radius, setting our compass on point X, we scribe another two arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs. As can be seen here. And now we join the two intersections with a straight line. So now we're going to work out again the perpendicular bisector of XZ. So setting the compass slightly longer than half the length of XZ, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius, setting our compass on Z, we scribe two new arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs. can be seen here. And now we will join these two intersections with another straight line. So where our two previous perpendicular bisectors intersect, this will be the point N, which is the nine point center N of the given triangle ABC. So now setting our compass on N and with the radius NX, we draw a circle in a thicker line, which is the nine point circle of the given triangle ABC. And we will obtain three new points, U, V and W, which we mark in blue. These points are the perpendicular feet or bases of the triangle. Now we are going to draw the three perpendicular heights of the triangle by joining its vertex A to point V, vertex C to point U, and vertex B to point W, all in blue lines as can be seen here. These heights intersect the nine point circumference, obtaining three remaining points which we are looking for, R, S and T, as can be seen here in red dots. R is the midpoint of the line segment HA, S is the midpoint of the line segment HB, and T is the midpoint of the line segment HC. So now we have obtained the nine points that we are looking for. And finally, we can draw in red Euler's line by connecting the three centers the orthocenter H, the nine point center N, and the circumcenter O, and elongating the line as shown here. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you.